No doubt you know what it is. 103.5 The Beat. K Fox. Oh my goodness. I'm hanging out with the man of the hour. Zeno. Oh, you brought your lady with you, Titi. <laughs> now, What's up, Fox? What is going on? Loving hip hop Atlanta. <sighs> Obviously. <laughs> At 8 o'clock. <laughs> Talk to me. Zeno, you've been going through a lot of things. First of all, it's good to see you. Appreciate it. You know, that. I'm glad to, to see you, that... too. And Thank it's good you. to see you back in Miami. Thank you. Yeah. It's good to see that you're in good spirits and good health. You know, I'm not going to lie to you. When I heard about what happened, I didn't know what to say, what to feel. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I don't know what to say, what to feel, you know, because, I mean, I remember when you used to live down in Miami, we had yep. our moments and our conversations, and you had your studio over there, and I was just like, yep. oh, my God, you got shot. I was just hoping that you were okay. I appreciate that. I mean, a lot of, it was a lot of, you know, a lot of prayers and, and, you know what I'm saying, just good thoughts, and I definitely appreciate the love, definitely. But, yeah, you know, I mean, I went through a little situation, but, you know, I'm here now. Well, let me say condolences to your mom going appreciate out to your that. mother Thank and your you family. Very much. I appreciate that. Um, what's going on with that situation? Was it, uh, you know, I know it was a family situation. Your nephew, I heard, or I mean, you know, it was it was just a situ- it was just an unfortunate situation because it really didn't doesn't didn't reflect, you know, my mother and what she was about. So, but you know, back in Miami, just came from the beach. Epps, what up, man? <laughs> he can't hear you. He's getting his records together. He's focused. He's focused. <laughs> so talk to me. This season seems like it's going to be explosive. When you look at the trailer, it looks like a movie. You know, you getting shot, Mimi and Nico with the sex tape. It's like, what else could possibly happen? L- little Scrappy getting somebody pregnant. We don't yeah, know who. Wow. Yeah, you know what? I mean, loving hip hop Atlanta definitely is like, I mean, I think the cast is just a super. I think they're super open about their lives, and that's what's good about it. You know, when a situation had happened with me, they actually had sent down a camera crew from New York, and you know, the camera crew came and I guess I was knocked out like around three in the morning, came to the hospital. So I mean, but that's what it is when you sign for reality TV. You got to give them the good, the bad, and the ugly, because that's really what what makes for a good show. Yeah, but it seems like the timing couldn't have been. I mean, even though it was an unfortunate situation, I'm sure for them. They were well, happy that. You know, I just read somewhere that Mona was like, the reality gods struck again. You know, it was like, I mean, that, but that's what it is. When you, when you get, when you, when you're like an open book, when certain things happen, you know, that are kind of extreme, I mean, it does make for good TV. Um, you know, I wasn't, you know, it's not like I was on my deathbed or anything. So, you know, when they came, but it still was a, a pretty, you know, messed up situation. But, you know, I mean, I just hope everybody kind of, appreciates that you know loving hip hop Atlanta you know just lets them in their lives and you know don't don't be too cruel you know what I'm saying on Twitter <laughs> well I mean I think it might be a little too late for that Zeno <laughs> your girl Mimi I, I seen the pictures of me though yo there was some funny ass pictures of, of me in the hospital with different people that was that was crazy. <laughs> well, I, I mean, at lie. least you took it like lightly, you, got you know. To, man. Come on, you got to have thick skin. Like I understand, you know, I'm under a microscope, so I don't, you know, I don't get upset about that. You know? Well, we got to go back to Mimi and this whole sex tape thing. I mean, do you talk to Mimi and Nico? Do you? I mean, me and Mimi shoot. You know, what I'm saying we've we we've, we've shot. You know, you got to understand. I've known Mimi for years, like even before she got with Stevie. You know, definitely doing a tape surprised everybody. But I mean, from my understand, it was premeditated. I mean. You know, did you watch the tape? Be honest. I have the tape. It so, was in three parts. So, so you could definitely. I mean, mm-hmm. I don't know from a woman's pers- perspective, but from a man's perspective, who's you know, I've watched porn before. I think th- the previews was the best part. I think so too. Because yeah. when you actually get into the meat of it, if you will, pardon the pun, <laughs> it's it was just a, it was a snooze fest. Yeah, yeah. But I guess the best part was a shower ride. Uh, no, I mean even that was suspect. After you really, you know, <laughs> after you really look at it on the regular movie, it was kind of suspect. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, would you agree? So you weren't impressed. I mean, the whole thing of the shower rod was definitely impressive, but then on the that was on the preview, but then in the movie, it was different. You know, and people got to I guess they got to watch the movie to see the difference. But there's no judging or no shade towards Mimi because however she get a paper, that's how she get a paper. You know. You know what I'm saying? As far as, you know, Stevie goes, you know, of course they have a daughter together. You you know what? That's the part that really yeah. kind of rubbed me the wrong way because you do have a daughter and you understand what the repercussions are, but then yeah. you went ahead and did it anyway. I mean, you know, you got to really, you got to kind of really watch yourself, what you do, especially with social media. But, I mean, Mimi's a grown woman. I mean, I know she's a good mother to Eva, just as Stevie's a good father. 
And um, but you just got to be careful, you know. I mean, it's not so much about me, me not being a good mother, as it is who's this guy that's, you know, what I'm saying. Yeah, uh, I wanted to get your feedback on that, you know. So you and your lady hanging out, hey baby, let's let's go shoot a porno and put it out. Would you even want that for your lady out there, putting her out there like that if you guys are together? I mean, you know what? It's like my thing is this, you know. Um, however, people run their relationships, run their relationships. It's just like. You just, me personally, I wouldn't want my baby's mother with the porno guy. You know what I'm saying? Walking around the house with my daughter. You know, I don't think, that's that's really it. You know I mean? People that have babies' mothers and they go through things anyways, you know, it's already kind of tense a lot. But now you got this guy and he's a porno star and he's doing porno. It's, so it's kind of. So wait, he was a porno star before? I thought I mean, he did. I mean, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's He's one now. You know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> You know what I mean? So I don't think that's some. You know, I, I got a daughter. She's 16. You know, but if I had a four-year-old daughter by my baby's mother, I wouldn't appreciate that. Yeah. You know? Now let's talk about you. You have this beautiful young lady with you. You're mm-hmm. on this season of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen she it yet. It hasn't now. come on. So. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's hard. It's hard to talk about it because they put you under so much restraints on what you could say. But yeah, Thee's on this season. And I see a big old fat ring on her. <laughs> Finger, can I see this? This is absolutely gorgeous. Let me see. So this means you guys are getting married. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I gave him one too, Yeah, she gave. She's me like, you know what? Well, you got to represent too, <laughs> even though we're not married. That right. ring is right. going on she, your finger. So she changed the rules of engagement. I like that. You know, you got to change the rules. So where did you guys meet? Talk to me. What's going on? I mean, well, you know, Thee was an artist under Foxy, and um, Foxy Brown. Yeah, mm-hmm. in '03, um, she was signed to Def Jam. And we had, um, you know, she had been staying in Atlanta for 10 years. She could tell you her story. And, you know, um, pretty much it was like I would I had seen her off, you know, like in passing at clubs, Atlanta clubs and stuff. And then, um, you know, we was, I got on Twitter. That's when I was kind of heavy, heavy into Twitter. Um, and then, yeah, you know, I started shouting her out, you know what I'm saying, seeing what's up. But, of course, I DM'd her, you know what I'm saying. So it was computer love. <laughs> it started, you know what? It started out as that, but until I, when I saw him in person, that's when I started like, okay, he, he's cute. Like he's to me, he was like that, that nigga. But I mean, you know who he was, right? I know who he was, but it wasn't until I was in his presence that I felt like I really like him. Like he's my type. Like as far as a gentleman dating you, courting you, what? I just liked his whole like swag and everything, like. The Uh-oh. way he talked and everything. Yeah, and... Dino's very intelligent. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you know? He could be. Right. Mis- I didn't he understand be, um... why, why girls was like saying certain things. I'm like, no, he's the one. Like... No, Zeno put me up to game a few times. We've had a very extensive, long conversations about just hip hop in general mm-hmm. and the game. Mm-hmm. And so, is that? I mean, are you are you involved in her career right now? Or? Oh man, I mean, most you know the biggest thing with D is like you know after we started hooking up. Of course, you know, as a guy, you know, it, it, the first thing on your m- mind is like, man, I mean, when I seen her, I had seen her on the videos back in the day. And then... um, What do you mean the videos back in the day? Well, she was I on a video, video with Cadillac Ty, and she used to do videos like the Jamie Foxx video. You know, okay. Yeah, yeah, she's done a few videos. And like I said, she's been on a couple of songs with Foxy, Cadillac Ty. They they was playing that video a lot. Um, So, you know, I seen her, I was like, wow, who's that? I mean, definitely caught my eye, you know what I'm saying, as far as my type, brown skin, beautiful, you know. That was like a long, long, long time ago. Okay. I mean, it was like, yeah, it was a while ago, you know, but still, you know, but when I I started seeing her, you know, when we was on the internet, I can only really see pictures of her, and if I seen her in passing, it really wasn't up close or whatever. You know, sometimes you might get, I might get shy on, like, if you see somebody, you want to talk to them. You, just, you shy, the you know? Nah, you know what, it's not like I'm, I'm, you know, myself a shy person, it's just that, you get into moments where you might be shy for any reason. You know, it could be a crowd of people, the wrong crowd of people, anything. So, you know, when I, when I finally got to, you know, we went, when we went, went out on a date, I was like, man, she looks, you know, even better in person because I had. So you asked her on a date on through DM or? Yeah, we had, no, I asked for the number, called her. We started talking on the phone and then we ended up hooking up. Um, I remember the first date was, you know, she owns properties in Atlanta. So I had to go take her out to one of her properties. Okay. Yeah, that was like not mad at that. To eat, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it was just a total package. I mean, she was beautiful. She was into music. I'm into music. Um, you know, she had been in Atlanta for like ten years already. I've only been there for a couple of years. So we started dating. Of course, you know, Titi. You know what I'm saying? I've I've had a past. You know what I'm saying? With women, um, Titi had a past. You know, we had past. At the end of the day, we're in the industry, and it's a small industry. 
So, you know, you got to put that aside. And we, we started dating. We was up front with each other about who we dated. And, you know, we just put that aside. Was that awkward, though? Like, did you guys, like, write out a list? Or were you in a certain situation? Like, Not you know, I used me. to. Because once, look, at, I mean, she kept it 100 with me. And then, you know, we can't say too much because you got to watch the, the like the, like how it plays out in Love and Hip Hop. You guys got to come back every week so we can talk about each episode. <laughs> she-